Welcome to our first episode of Relax Cast. Our guest is Miss Nicholas. Um, I'm Jessica. I'm Dylan Lofton. And I'm Jackie Wyatt. Um, so this episode is about yoga. And Miss Mac knows about yoga. <laughs> Yay! <but I> don't. <laughs> okay, so Miss Mac, um, what did you do before yoga to like help you de stress? Um, before I started practicing yoga, I would um, go to the gym and run on a treadmill or do other um, group group classes before yoga. So I liked to do Zumba a lot. Um, my friend taught Zumba. Um, I did kickboxing. Um, I would take walks with friends or kind of just hang out anywhere, anytime that I could just either be with people. Um, and then also I would try to find time with my time to myself. So just reading help me relax or just listening to music, listening to podcasts is, <laughs> yes. is nice. I love so listening, listening to relax. relax. Listening to relax. <laughs> yeah. Um, pretty much just, I try to balance like being with people to help me de-stress and then I also need the time to be by myself and de-stress. Um, okay. Yeah. 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 I wish that I had like the drive to like go to the gym. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I never have the time. Yeah. 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 Where's it? Uh, time, please come back. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, because I would get frustrated. Go, like I went to the gym to try and you know work out and like you know endorphins and psychology. And I would just get frustrated because I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what exercises I should be doing. And so then group exercise is where I went. So I went to Zumba, I went to kickboxing, and then eventually that led to yoga. Ooh. Zoom is awesome. Zoom is, Zoom is a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, what are three words you would use to describe yoga? Um, yoga is uh, connection. It's mm -hmm. a connection between your mind and your body. Yeah. Um, that's actually the, like a definition of yoga. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, cheating there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> connection, yeah, between your mind and body. Um, it's Personal. It's a very personal practice, um, and um, I don't know. Fulfilling, maybe. I always feel very yeah, like, like good full after a yoga practice. Yeah, I think definitely like something that relaxes you is something that like makes you kind of feel like whole as a person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I feel like if you don't meet that standard, it doesn't really do anything for you. Right. Yeah. Especially when you're in your own mindset, like when you're just doing it by yourself yeah. in your own little place. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. And so, what and what made you decide to do yoga? Like, what was like your first? Oh, I must do yoga. <laughs> <laughs> I, I must. must I, I must, must do the yoga too. <laughs> um. I, I so I started really getting into yoga at college. Um, and my friend, I started going with my friend probably the first time I knew what it was, but didn't really know um, exactly what it was. I was like, oh, okay, well, like, stretch, cool. It's not really that big of a workout, but it is. It is It is um, a lot. You can get a lot out of yoga. I think what was first drawn to me was, again, like, that group setting. I, someone's telling me what to do. I'm not going to sit there and be like, okay, what do I do now? Like, they're going to lead me through it, and I'll be able to watch other people do it. And it just was nice. I'd heard about, you know, the calming effects, the benefits um, for health overall, both physical and mental. Um, so that really drew me to it, especially being in college and having to balance um, all my classes. I was working, um, trying not to be a poor college student. <laughs> um, I, you know, spend time with family, spend time with friends, kind of that whole right. um, thing. So just kind of, yeah, find it as an escape. Not like an escape, but... An outlet, right? Mm -hmm. To like relieve stresses that you might have, or yeah, negative thoughts. It gives you more positivity. Maybe. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, everyone has an outlet that maybe isn't like their usual thing. Like I do theater, but like there are other things I do that aren't related to theater, but yeah. help me, you know, de stress just as much. Right. Exactly. So like, whereas you, you love speaking Italian, language <laughs> like gal, but you know. You don't need to speak Italian to relax. <laughs> no, no. I mean, I listen to the Italian music. Oh, yeah. 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 Relax cast episode. Um, what is your favorite pose and why? Mm. Oh, that's a good question. Um, one of my favorite poses is Bird of Paradise. That sounds so pretty. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, I like, love that. So, um, Bird of Paradise is 
Uh, it's a standing balance, and it's also a bind, which is why I like it's. It's kind of a complex pose. It requires a lot from you. It requires you. It's not a pose that you like do right away. It's something that you work towards. You warm up um, the shoulders. You have to open across the chest, which is really nice. You do a lot of heart opening poses. Um, it requires a lot of strength in the legs. So you do a lot of hamstring stretches. So it's kind of a, a pose that requires. Um, balance and you have to use a lot of the muscles um, and it's it was probably one of the first more like intermediate poses I ever was able to um, kind of reach like yoga isn't about the pose but it is really nice when you get yeah. to yoga. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Like so I don't know if do you guys know what bird of paradise is or no. looks like well fine oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> um, stay tuned so I don't know should I describe it? Yeah, like, sure. So yeah, we're yeah, talk about it. Go ahead. Um, I can't really demonstrate because I'm wearing a dress. But oh, um, oh. so it's a bind. So one hand is you bind between like around the legs, and then you, your leg is lifted. Wow. So you're like wow. bound. So a binds usually you have to have really open shoulders to do it. Um, but you can wow, just Google it. image, just search. <laughs> I've done poses too, I'd say, because I can do it really well on one side but I can't balance really well on the other side. Oh. So it's one of those poses that reminds you like, like I can do this on one side, but maybe not the other. So it's like, it's a really powerful pose, but also humbling at the same time. I like that. I can see that. That must have taken a lot of practice. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yeah. You can st start by the wall, so you can help the wall, help the balance. You know, you build your way up. Friend. The wall's yeah. wall like your best friend. <laughs> exactly, yeah, use yeah. the wall, use your props. Props, <laughs> your props. aren't. And eventually you'll now, speaking of poses, <laughs> what is your least favorite pose and why? Oh, my least favorite pose. Yeah, I would say I don't, I can't think of a, a fav, like a least favorite right now, but probably it'll depend on how I'm feeling that day, maybe. So, yeah. like, like the other day, um, there was a lot of hamstring stretches, which I usually love, but my hamstrings were feeling really tight. So every mm -hmm. pose we did it kind of, not painful, but you're just like, it's more like, this is uncomfortable, I don't yeah. want to right. do this. <laughs> yeah. um, I really like um, twisting poses, but sometimes when you do a twisting um, twisting balance, like a reversed, uh, reversed half moon, it puts a lot of pressure on my hips, and so like across the IT band, it can get a little uncomfortable, and then it's like I hate the poses that I know I can't get into fully without like having to modify. I don't know. Like yeah, I, right. I know like if I try um, to do this, I'm gonna injure myself. So then I try and back can, off, and yeah. I'm like, no, I can't do it right. <laughs> no, so I try to be like, I don't know. Yeah. I don't want to injure myself, but I'm trying to you know get the ego to be like, you don't need to do this pose. <laughs> um. So what does yoga do for you, like as a person, as an individual? Like, when you're, like, if you do it, like, alone, or how did you feel when you first did it, basically? Um, I definitely felt relaxed, and, <laughs> and, <laughs> and, <laughs> and, <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, um, it definitely made me feel relaxed, and kind of more centered, more able to focus on what I was doing, either, it was nice, because at college, I used to go, uh, in the morning, like I was one of those crazy people. I still am a crazy person. Who works in the morning, like I will Nothing wake up. With that. I will wake up <laughs> early to go to a yoga class at seven in the morning, and I would do that in college. So it was just really nice to go and do that. And then you have your whole day, and so you kind of just wake up and you move through these poses, and it kind of just gets you nice and centered and focused. So mm -hmm. doing the doing yoga helps kind of clear my mind. Um, I know especially now being a teacher, there's a lot of things I have to think about every day. <laughs> right, so, yeah. I, I, I just like that. <laughs> you, I mean, you guys as students know you have a lot yeah. to think about. Oh, but yeah. as a teacher, there's a, oh, you know, a ton, ton. Yeah. everything. So even, I don't, I usually practice at night now because of the schedule, um, mm. exactly. because of my schedule, but yeah, it helps me. So before it would kind of help set me up for my day and now it's a really nice way to end the day to let go of everything. So it just really helps me kind of not hold on to things that um, don't serve me, I guess. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. um, and doing that, whether that's in my, so I do, sometimes we'll do a home practice, just do a few, like, 20 minutes just stretching or, you know, a whole hour class, 75-minute class. Mm -hmm. um, I can get the same kind of effect. Yeah, I just guess. mainly yeah. focusing on things that benefit you. Is yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Right. yeah. Um, right. So where is, like, your favorite place to do it? Do you prefer mm -hmm. to do it, like, 
in your house or like would you prefer to actually go to the studio and do it with other people? Um, I think generally I love to do yoga at the studio with um, people around me. The, the studio that I go to is a great sense of community. Um, the, it's so welcoming. That's why I started. Um, I've gone to a few different yoga studios in the area and then I found this one and that's where I decided to do my training at to become a yoga teacher because it was so welcoming and comforting and everyone's there um, because they want to be there and they want to all working towards this you know one goal of just going through the practice um, but it is really nice to just go um, and find space in my own home and just do it by myself and kind of have yeah. that so I guess it really depends on my mood um, or how I'm feeling if I want to do a practice, but maybe I only have the 20 minutes or something, then I'll just go um, and find a clear space <laughs> practice. Yeah, and it's like it's nice going somewhere where everybody wants to do it. I mean, like yes. there are some classes where, like that I'm in, where I'm like, half these kids don't want to be in here. Yeah. Right. I know it. You know it. They know it. <laughs> yeah. And it's just it's just nice going somewhere where you're like everybody has basically the same goal or the same variation of a goal and. Mm -hmm. It, it almost like feels like you've already connected just because of that knowledge. You're being, yeah. 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 And it makes you feel more motivated to like Definitely. complete whatever you're, exactly. you want to get out of that class. Mm -hmm. It's just nice. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what is your preferred time to do it, to do yoga? Like if you want to do it in the morning, you usually do it in the mornings, like before you go to bed? Yeah, I really like... I really like doing it in the morning. It's a nice way to wake up. Yoga can be very energizing. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so it's nice. So sometimes when I do yoga at night, um, I can't sleep as well just because I'm kind of, yeah. you know, energized. Yeah. You have the, <laughs> they say that it's and the, like, <laughs> to use, yeah, I like to use, like, yoga terms, like the prana, which is, like, the life Ooh. energy. Yeah, and it's like, you know, you have your prana flowing through you. To I use, love it. That's awesome. <laughs> use yoga terms, you know. <laughs> Um, it can be, but yoga is also really good to do at night, um, mm -hmm. because it helps lengthen the muscles, strengthen it, and, um, you, it just helps you, it can be very restful too, depending on, like, certain poses, so, I guess any time of day, really, I don't know. No. When you can do it, you can When I can do it, yeah, whenever I can, can do, do it. it. Stop, we can, like, little pit stops and be like, okay, I need, like, center myself again. Like, yeah. I'm, like, going out of whack, okay. I need to center myself. Yeah, and, and so, like, yeah, you can do, I mean, even, like, in the middle of class, if I'm just, if I find myself getting frustrated with like a class, I might take like teach a, lesson. a few deep breaths, like yeah. you know, like they teach you like inhale, like you have your even inhales and your even exhales, and you just try and stop. Like one of the the things that I um, really like, some of my teachers have taught me is this idea of stopping before you start. Mm -hmm. So kind of you stop, you kind of take everything in, and then you start. Right, you you go into something without kind of preparing yourself or stopping first, then it's not going to go as well. But if you stop before you start, then you can kind of approach it with like with that more clarity or whatnot. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Mills always says to us, um, yeah. silence always is before music. Right. Yes. So like, I guess like stopping yourself and like making sure that you're in like this right headspace is like this, it, it's like how you get yourself mm -hmm. into a motivated or, or even like relaxed position. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Um, how often do you do it? Do you do it like once a day, like a few times a week? Like how? Usually, um, yeah, usually a few times a week. Mm -hmm. I try to go. Um, I try to make it to the studio a couple of times a week, um, or like I said, just do it um, at my house if I'm able to. Mm -hmm. um, always depends on the schedule. Like in the summer, I have a lot more time. I was doing it almost every day, and then awesome. during the school year, it's like, like yeah. a little bit more yeah. Yeah. with like after school things and such. So yeah, that would be like but yeah. And then usually, I usually try to make it like on the weekends. I definitely love to do yoga in the morning. I love like the Saturday morning, oh. Sunday morning class. Like yeah, definitely. The yoga in the morning is really nice on the weekend. Mm. Um, so I try to do it, yeah, every weekend and then at least two or three times during the week, I'd say. Yeah, that's okay. nice. That's awesome. Yeah. It's okay, so, maintain. yeah, once you get into that habit, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's nice to stay with it. Then you're like, oh, yeah, I'm going. Like, it's like, yeah. it's, it's not a chore, yeah. exactly. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Especially yeah. something to look forward to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's nice having that. Yeah. So, obviously, this podcast um, is specifically made for students who feel like they need other outlets. Mm -hmm. um, so what do you think yoga 
would benefit high school students? So I think there's a lot of benefits uh, for sure. I think uh, both, as I said, it, like mental and health benefits. So mentally it can help um, reduce anxiety, reduce stress, um, kind of just help clear your mind if you just kind of, again, settle into that pose idea of like stopping, starting where you are, um, just focusing, trying to just give yourself 20 minutes, an hour, whatever it is that you can afford throughout the day. Connecting the breath through movement. So inhaling as you, um, you know, reach up, exhaling as you fold, just that connection and that focus. So it can really help um, just reduce the stress and anxiety. Certain poses help with stress and anxiety. You'll see often, you can go to YouTube or anywhere and be like, yoga for stress reduction or yoga for anxiety or whatnot. Um, but also just a lot of other benefits for your health. Um, it helps your muscles. It helps your, it can help your digestive tract, your nervous system, um, your, I don't know, helps your bone, right? Like the spine, keeps the spine healthy, which is, which is important, you know, like it's, if we sit all day, you guys, students are sitting all day and, and, and leaning over and yeah, just right. like this on their like, phone. Yoga positions is or, they're, or they're writing. And yeah, this. They're, they're, <laughs> they're writing or you're on your phone. So it just can help with, yeah, keeping the bone structure healthy, the nervous system, um, digestive system, nervous system. Yeah, there's like so many. It can help sleep. Even though it is energizing, it can help um, promote sleep. Mm -hmm. You know um, students don't sleep. Yeah, that it can help. But Full can fat. help your respiratory, right? Your breathing. You're focusing on how to breathe in through the the lungs and breathe out, and yeah, yeah. there's yeah. So many benefits. <laughs> we should do yoga. <laughs> do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> do the yoga. Do it. <laughs> All right. So speaking of uh, people trying yoga, are there any tips you have for people who want to uh, go out and try yoga for the first time? Yeah. Um, just. Do it, pretty much. Yeah, just do it. it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't have any expectations for yourself. Um, I try to tell that to my student, my yoga students. You know, I will offer everything that you need to get to into certain pose. But if you need to use a block, or you need to use a, a strap, you need to use. You need to put your knee down because you know being in a full plank maybe is too much. Just go into it, doing what you what will be good for you and your body, what will serve you the best. So it's go into it with an open mind. Maybe you can reach all the poses, maybe you can't. But the idea, the point of yoga, like I said, isn't the pose. It's just getting on your mat, moving, breathing, um, just stretching and finding the, the beauty of yoga, I guess. So don't, don't get frustrated if you can't do something. Just let it go and then... And work towards exactly. it, right? It's progress. Don't focus on yeah. pushing yourself. Don't Definitely. focus. Um, so hopefully, if you do try yoga, and you don't walk away from it, but you can go back, or it could be something. <laughs> right. It can be, you know, I, I've seen people get frustrated, but it's a pro it's a process. It's it's a practice. We call it yoga practice because you're always working towards something. Mm -hmm. Definitely, yeah. and I guess you know, at the end, like it'll be so fulfilling for you, you know, just to know that you started off at a place where you were like, I don't know what I'm doing, and now you're at this place where you're like, I'm a yoga instructor. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. like, look where I came from. <laughs> like, look, like, look what this is doing for me. I mean, and, you know, people who are, you know, listening or watching, like, yoga might end up not being your thing, but the fact that you, you know, even thought, you know, maybe I can try something new is mm -hmm. already mm -hmm. a step in a better direction. Yeah. Especially having yeah. goals for yourself. Like, be obviously don't, like, set a time or anything just just work towards a specific goal without any like a lot of time you have just just work towards it definitely mr goddard who's our um, ap psych teacher for those who know him um he always tells us um that we have a worry box mm -hmm. yes. and you can put things in your worry box and when you have time to worry about them set an hour aside and be like i'm gonna worry about this and then put it away and do yoga <laughs> yeah do yoga. exactly yeah I had a teacher that always say, like, take whatever you don't need, put it in a box, and that box is going outside. We don't need it. It's not in the studio right now. When you leave, you can pick the box back up, but for right now, you're just here. You let the thoughts pass. You let the, you let everything just be, yeah. yeah. And then just a reminder, like, if you try anything new that we, like, say, like, hey, you should try this, 
don't push yourself too hard. Like, if you get frustrated or if you're doing something where you get frustrated or you're annoyed or something, don't keep pushing yourself. Try to take a break from it, go back to it. It Pushing yourself causes more stress and other things, and it also, like, isn't good for your body or your mind. And this is mm-hmm. relax, Cass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, learn how to let go. <laughs> don't, don't. Chill out. <laughs> Chill out. No, but seriously, like, don't push yourself. Take what you can handle. And then if you're trying something new, baby steps. It's, like, the same thing as if you're trying to learn how to speak a language. Like, you learn the first, like, basic words, and then you keep going yeah, into the complex. Definitely, like, build a foundation for yourself. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. exactly. And especially if you're getting frustrated or anything, just take a step back, like we said, and just... Think, think, before <laughs> yeah. you, think before you continue. Yeah, yeah exactly. Definitely. So a little fun question here. If you can do yoga with any famous person, who would it be and why? <laughs> I'm still any, asking. like, celeb crushes? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Say, yeah. <laughs> um, my probably biggest celeb crush is Idris Elba. Mm-hmm. From, he's in The Wire. He's in Luther. Mm-hmm. Um, yes. He's... Very nice looking. Uh, he's very in shape, so I think that would be fun. Um, I also really love Anna Kendrick, and I feel like oh she would God, be I hilarious. To uh, yeah, yeah, I feel like that would just be a hilarious experience. Oh, She'd be like, how about doing this? Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah I don't yeah. know. And then <laughs> follow up, if you can do it, yoga with any teacher in this school, who would it be and why? Um... I would want to do yoga with Miss Ford because yeah, she's my BFF. Everybody <laughs> knows, Ford. and we have done yoga together before, and she Beautiful. hasn't done it in a while. And also Miss Pavovar, who's asked me to help her do yoga because of her marathon running. She needs to. So Ooh, this podcast is for you, girl. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it can, so even, <laughs> I'll send it to her. So yoga can help um, athletes, right? So there's. Runner yoga for runners to help get into your hip flexors and and the leg muscles and things. So, um, yoga for dance for dancers. dancers. Yoga for I've seen like yoga for rock climbers. Yoga for even like you that's know football awesome. players can do yoga. There's <laughs> that's another thing too. Like guys, don't be afraid to try yoga. Mm. There's so many guys that do yoga and it's awesome they, to see them do these yeah. poses. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, um, Miss so P and Miss Ford would be my yoga pals okay. at the school. <laughs> overall, yoga is for everything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yoga is the answer. Um, it's so so <laughs> basically, uh, we want to try such poses. So, um, thank you so much yeah. for answering yes, these questions. Yes, thank you so much. This, is awesome. um, this <laughs> podcast is our baby. We, <laughs> yeah. You know, Love and you're our first guest, and I'm yeah. so glad that you're our first yes. guest. Yes. Uh, so thank you so much. Um, People, yoga is something that you can do to de stress. It is not the only thing you can do. Everyone is different, and there are so many different things that you can do um, to fulfill your needs. Um, but this is just an example, and we want to keep providing that for you. So keep tuning in. Yeah. You know? Keep coming in Whoa. to relax with us. Chat with us. More ways to relax. All right. Thank <laughs> you relax. so much. Thank you. Bye, Bye. Bye.